In the previous video, I explained in general what is sexual response cycle. Today, I want to explain the phases separately. Stay with me. My name is Ezvan Shekarchi, I'm a psychosexologist and I give consultations to the couples and individuals. By producing videos, I want to help people to gain better knowledge about the sexual life and the relationship with their partner. So, if you think you need this kind of education, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. As soon as I upload a video, you will know. Don't forget to give me a like and a comment below. We know that sexual response cycles has four phases excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, which both men and women experience these phases. Today, I want to explain separately to see what happens in each phase. Number one, excitement. The followings are the general features of the excitement phase, which can span from a few minutes to some hours. Muscle sensation increases, the heart rate increases, as does the pace of the breathing. Uh, the skin could blush. It means uh, blotches of the redness appears on the skin or on the chest and also on the back. Nipples stiffen or become harder. Blood flow up to the uh, genital rises, causing enlargement of the clitoris and the labia minora, uh, actually inner parts and in women an erection in men. The women's breasts expand and the vagina walls uh, enlarge. The testicle expand and the scrotum uh, tightened and uh, secretes uh, lubrications uh, fluids. Here I would like to mention that a misconception which is that uh, men are always ready for sex. They always arouse and they always have sex. One sex actually. But it is not uh, like this. We should, uh, we should take care and we should pay attention to the differences which is between the woman and the, between the man. In women, uh, there are a gen gentle slope from the having a sexual desire to uh, enter uh, excitement phase. However, when a man has a desire for sex, for him it is easier to reach or go, uh, enter to the excitement stage. So, which means that there is a less time or a few times between the sexual desire and excitement for men. However, for a woman, for a woman, uh, this time could be a bit longer. Number two, the general features of the plateau phase, which can uh, expand to the edge of the orgasm. The modification and all the changes that began uh, in the phase one are accelerated, and because of the increased blood flow, the vaginal uh, walls uh, continue to expand and uh, make or appear a dark uh, purple color. The women's clitoris becomes uh, highly sensitive and may be very painful to touch. So also maybe a lot of women uh, avoid or don't want a direct stimulation with the, uh, from the penis. And the men's testicles uh, swell and tighten. Breathing, heart rate and the blood pressure are all increasing. A spasm might um, start in the feet, in the face and also in the hands and the muscle tensions growing up. The third phase of the sexual response cycle and the climax of the phases is orgasm, which is the shortest stage of the phases and could um, span only a few seconds. The features are involuntary muscles contraction could happen, blood pressure, heart rate, and the breathing, or all of the, all of them are at the peak, at their peak, and with in, with uh, an increase uh, in oxygen intake. Uh, you may experience spasm in your feet and your muscles. And sexual tensions is abruptly and forcefully released, the vagi uh, vaginal muscles contract in women, the uterus experience a rhythmic contractions as well. Uh, also rhythmic contractions uh, of the muscles cause the ejaculation in men, a rash or uh, sometimes known as a sex flush uh, may erupt all over the body. With orgasm, the endorphin and the dopamine hormones increase and showing a cheerful and a vitality. The point that I would like to tell you and uh, you should pay attention is that uh, the experience of orgasm in one woman is different from another. And a person may not have any of these symptom, uh, symptoms and uh, signs and experience orgasm and pleasure. So if you don't have any, other of, the, any of uh, these symptoms, it doesn't mean that there is a problem in your body. Phase 4, uh, resolution. 
Actually, in this uh, phase, the body gradually recovers to uh, the usual level of the functioning throughout the resolution, and swollen and the erect bodily, uh, com uh, erect bodily components revert to their original size and the colors. This stage is distinguished by um, a general sense of well-being, increased intimacy, and the frequency of the uh, fatigue and tiredness. Some women can uh, quickly return to the climax fa uh, phase and uh, have the further if they have the further stimulation they can reach to another orgasm or several orgasm or multiple orgasm but for men there is a um, requirement for a, a refractory period after orgasm which uh, they can't experience uh, orgasm again the duration of the refractory phase um, is different and varies among the men and also it is increased by age Shortly, the intensity of the responses and the time spent in each phase is varies from a person to another person. Understanding these differences may help you to help you to know your body and your partner body better and understand the uh, responses that which of you in any of you can have. I appreciate you for watching until the end. Please don't forget to subscribe and put uh, turn on the light. Um, I appreciate for watching until the end. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. As soon as I upload a new video, you will know. Also, don't forget to put a comment below. See you soon.